afternoon. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I am here with our brand new monthly mini lessons packet for January. Um, we're going to open right up to the first page and at the very top it says goal. Okay. I want to talk about goals a little bit because, uh, I personally believe that goals are very important. I have many goals myself. I work very hard to uh, accomplish goals and I think that it's important for young people to learn how to set goals and work towards them. Um, we talked before uh, last week about the breaking down things into steps in our monthly mini lessons. We didn't finish the January monthly mini lessons packet. You are welcome to do it on your own if you would like to, um, but we're gonna just skip ahead so that we can stay on track with our learning material. Sometimes we have to do that because we get behind in things. And um, there has been a lot of material to do at home and not as much time as we would like to to get it done. Anyway, so we're jumping ahead. We're gonna do some goal setting today. So I want you to think about something that you want or something that you'd like to achieve. Maybe you'd like to learn how to ride a bike. Maybe you would like to learn how to bake or cook, or maybe you have a a goal of keeping your bookshelf organized. Whatever it could be, um, you get to decide what that is. And uh, so for the purposes of this assignment, I'm going to set a goal for myself and you can copy my goal if that is easier for you to understand. Um, but I have found that setting goals and then checking in with myself to see how I'm coming along with my goal has been a really important part of actually getting things done. So. Um, my goal is to, let's see, what's my goal? Something that's really important. Okay, I would like to cook dinner at home every night. So I'm going to write cook. dinner. Make sure you're using your writing lines appropriately. Cook dinner at home every night and I'm gonna say that I want to do this for one week and that's not very difficult, um, but sometimes when we set goals for ourselves, we want to start by doing a small goal first so that we can increase our chances of success and see how it goes. And then after a week, I can reevaluate and I can set a goal for cooking dinner at home every night for two weeks. So breaking things down into smaller steps. Now, if I said uh, my goal is to become a millionaire by the end of the week, chances are that's going to be too big of a goal for me to accomplish in one week. Now, if I said I wanted to be a millionaire in 10 years, that's a little bit more realistic because that gives me a lot of time to work on something and, and break it down into little pieces and figuring out how I want to get there. Um, it That's a little bit of a stretch still. Not very many people become millionaires, <laughs> and that's not really important to me anyway, but... It's just an example of how you might want to start with a very small goal so that you can feel the success of your goal. If you would like to copy down mine, you could say cook dinner at home every night for one week. And then down here, it says reasons, A and B. Why is this goal important to me? What do you think? Well, <clears throat> one of the reasons that I want to uh, cook dinner from home is to spend time with my family. That's one really important reason. And that includes my animals. Because I have a lot of animals at home and if I'm not ever home, then they aren't very happy. So spend time with my family. That's one of the reasons. And another reason is to save money. 
when you eat out all the time, it gets kind of expensive. So my two reasons are to spend time with my family and to save money. Okay, let's say for example, your goal is to keep your room clean for a week. Well, why is that important? Maybe one reason why you wanna keep your room clean for a week is because then it will be easier for you to find your toys or your learning materials. Um, and another reason could be that uh, having a clean room helps you stay organized. Maybe you sleep better, um, helps you find things. Also, you know, if you leave food and stuff in your room, that can attract bugs, which is yucky, or animals, which is yucky. So there's lots of reasons why it's important to keep things clean. I know that if I leave a piece of fruit on the counter and it starts to rot, then I get little flies in my house and that drives me crazy. <laughs> so it's important to keep my kitchen clean. Um, maybe your goal is to do your schoolwork every day before 12 o'clock or before 3 o'clock. And that's so that you stay on top of your schoolwork is a good reason. And you learn. That's a really good reason. Okay? So set a goal and then tell me what the reasons are. When you're done with that, take a picture of your paper and send it to me. And then that you will be done with your, uh, your assignment for the monthly admitted lessons for January, for Monday. And then take out your math book, Eureka Math, Grade 1, Module 2. We are turning to page 33 today. 33. Okay, 33. Make 10 to solve. Use a number bond to show how you took two out to make 10. So Ben has eight green grapes and three purple grapes. Really quickly, don't let me forget, write your name at the top and write the date, 111-2021, just like that. Okay, now in order for us to make the number 8 equal to 10, we have to borrow from the 3. So the 3 becomes 2 and 1. Okay, so I put a little split here. The 3 becomes 2 and 1. 2 plus 1 equals 3. So we have one group of 2, one group of 1 for a total of 3. Now we can take 2 of the 3, give it to the 8, which makes this equal to 10, and then we have 1 left over. So 10 plus 1 is 11. Okay, so 8 plus 3 and 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. Ben has 11 grapes. Okay, we're going to do the same thing down here. 8 plus 4, break the 4 into groups of 2, just like that, right here. And then give 2 to the 8, so that becomes 10. And there's 2 left over. Okay, so 10 plus 2 is 12. All right, so your answer is 12. Now use the number bonds to show your thinking. So down here, you're gonna just continue to do the same thing. You're gonna borrow from the other number to give two to eight. So if I take two out of five, that leaves three. So that, so that leaves three, okay? So I take this five, split it into two parts, two and three. Now the two goes to the eight, so that becomes 10. So we're making a new problem. Okay, so I put my 10 here. Since I gave the two to the eight, I only have three. So 10 plus three is what? 13, right? That's a little bit easier to solve. 10 plus three equals 13. So eight plus five also equals 13. It's the same quantity it's just a different arrangement of numbers. Okay, so go ahead and keep working down the page, splitting your groups. And then I will keep working and you can check your answers with mine.
Okay. Now go ahead and you can check yours with mine. I made a little mistake here. This is supposed to be a five, so don't don't copy what I did. Just 10 plus five is the answer. But I didn't put the answer here because I want you to try to figure that out on your own. At this point, this answer should come to you pretty quickly, okay? So we're splitting this number, making this 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. 13 is the same answer that goes here, okay? Same deal here. 8 plus 7. So we're splitting the 7 to 2. 2 plus 5 is 7. So 2 comes over here, you still have 5. So this becomes 10 plus 5. So 10 plus 5 is 15. It's the same answer that goes here, okay? So 8 plus 7 is 15. We just changed it from 8 plus 7 to 10 plus 5 so that it's easier for our brains to add and then you can figure out the rest. This one I did down here for you because this was figuring out the missing number. It's a little bit tricky. So 8 plus what equals 17? Well, I know 10 plus 7 equals 17. So 8 plus 9, I had to take 2 away from the 10 and give it to the 7. So 2 plus 7 is 9. 8 plus 9 equals 17. And that's a little bit tricky, so just kind of copy down what I wrote, and it will start making sense more later on. Okay. When you're done with that, we're going to turn to page 34, and we're going to complete the addition sentences and number bonds. So we're kind of continuing on here. All right, so 8 is 10 plus 1 equals what? So you've got 11 is the number bond, 10 and 1 go here. B is 8 plus 3. So 8 plus 3 is also equal to 11. If you're not sure about this, get some beans, get some counters, use the little foam things that I got for you guys, and use those to do the math. I guarantee you if you take 10 apples and add one more, it'll equal 11. And if you take eight apples and add three more apples, that will also equal 11. Does that make sense? We're just rearranging numbers here. The next one says 10 plus 5. And you can see in the number bond that the whole is 15. So if you take 10 apples and add 5 more, you will have 15. So we need to take the 10 and the 5 and put those into that first number bond right over here. Okay, so 10 plus 5, those are the numbers that go into the parts. 8 plus 7, those are also parts that equal 15. So these, were, these are equal problem sets. 8 plus 7 and 10 plus 5 both equal 15. So now go ahead, go down to number 10. This number bond does not have the whole for you to see. The, the whole amount. Okay. So we got to figure that out. 10 plus 6. So if you have 10 apples and you get go to the grocery store and get 6 more apples. So you've got 10 and then you've got six. Now you have 16, right? That should be starting to come a little bit quicker for you. Okay, so 16 is the whole, which means eight plus eight, if you have eight apples and you add eight more apples, that also equals 16. Okay. Here's mine you can use as a copy it down. So 10 and 6 is 16. 8 and 8 is also 16. Those are your number bonds. Moving down to number 11. 2 plus 10. So we're going to put a 2 and a 10. 2 plus 10 equals what? 10. 11. 12. That's 2. So we just added 2 to 10 and that's 12. Make sense? Now 4 plus 8 is the same as 2 plus 10, which means the answer is going to be the same. So it's 12. 
just a different arrangement. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Copy your answers down. Check your work. Okay, do the last one on your own. And then I will hold my answer up for you so you can see if yours is correct. You've got 4 plus 10 and 6 plus 8. Do 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 Okay. Check your work. Did you get 14? Me too! Woohoo! Okay, the next page 35, 36. That's your homework.